This Equipment World video is brought to you by Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World. Welcome in to another episode of The Dirt, the video podcast that brings you interviews and discussion on the latest in heavy equipment, trucks, and construction industry trends. Coming up today on The Dirt, we welcome in Sarah Peckscamp to talk about a new Bobcat skid steer and compact track loader. But because the new S62 and T62 loaders are part of Bobcat's new R-Series generation of machines, we'll also get into several improvements that Bobcat is making to all of its skid steers and CTLs across that lineup. Bobcat's R-Series loaders feature a new design, a new engine, a new cooling system, better durability, and much more. So let's get into it. Hey, Sarah, welcome in. Thanks so much for joining us today on The Dirt. How are you? I'm doing well, Wayne. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Oh, no problem. Thank you again for, for, for coming on. So to, to hop right into it, looking at the, the lineup, one of my, one of my first questions here was, you know, what, what machines, um, I think it's a, it should be a pretty obvious answer, but what machines from the previous generation of the skid steers and track loaders in the lineup, what, what machines do the S62 and the T62 specifically replace? Uh, yeah. So our S62 skid steer will replace our S550 and our T62 compact track loader will replace our T550. Now these are all radius lift path loaders. And I should note that, you know, Bobcat owners and operators are probably a little more familiar with our 500 frame size for reference. And now with our series, our 60 frame size, or sometimes we say 60 platform size, um, will align with that. So that includes our family of 62, 64, 66 loaders. But I should also mention with, with our R-Series loaders, we've increased in performance and capability for each M2 series counterpart. Yeah, nice. And yeah, I, I, I know some of them too, like the, the, the S model name has kind of almost in, like exactly matched up with whatever the, you know, the previous generation uh, model name was. Uh, but, you know, that that wasn't the case here since you're moving from an S6, you know, you're moving up to an S6 from a, from a, from a 500 uh, model name. So um, anyway, since we've talked about uh, what's new with the R series loaders, um, uh, in some previous videos and some previous discussions that we've had with, with folks at Bobcat, um, with the introduction of those other loaders in this new R series generation, I, I did want to start with some specifics, uh, on the S62 and T and the T62. You mentioned there that there are some performance improvements that folks can expect on the machines that they're replacing. So, you know, what can operators familiar with those machines, those older machines, um, what can they expect, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of noticeable improvements in, in the course of, of operating these new machines? Well, with our series, really, we have, by and large, increased horsepower. We've increased lift capacity. Um, plus, we've added a little larger wheelbase for added stability. Um, but with, really, with our series, it's the total package. Our R series loaders are, you know, kind of ahead of their time in performance, in durability, and even in comfort productivity features. Um, there are several features standard to our series um, that aid in this productivity and comfort. Um, we have standard LED lights, we have standard uh, five inch LCD display or, or our optional seven inch touch display, which I think is one of the best in the industry, it comes with Bluetooth connectivity, it's really cool. Standard keyless start. I mean, I could go on and on. There's just a lot to our series. And, you know, we always say, of course, um, we've upped our game even in power and performance, but there's just um, a lot to the full total package of an R series loader. Now, uh, one kind of like performance uh, specific, uh, you know, improvement that you guys do note is, is the improved lift capacities. Uh, a couple of questions on that. What what is behind that change in improved lift capacity, um, and and how much of an increase uh, can you expect on the S62 and T62 over the machines they replace? The increased lift capacities are really due to sections of of cast steel material used in our lift arms, which is a stronger material, and we combine that with uh, redesigned, just really optimized lift arm linkage. So that's really the reason behind where, you know, we're able to have increased lift capacities. So for example, the S62, which really replaces the S550, uh, we go from 61 horsepower in the S550 to 68 in the, in the S62. And we, we um, increase our rated operating capacity by 350 pounds as well. Um, so, and then it's a similar story for the track model and really um, most 
all our series loaders and their counterparts. Uh, are there any further kind of differences in terms of capability or power between these machines and, and the previous generation uh, models? You, you, we've, we've talked about, you know, uh, operating capacities and, and, and horsepower. But what about lift height, you know, anything else? As far as lift height, you know, in our vertical lift path R-series models, uh, lift height, height to hinge pin has also increased. And again, across the board, horsepower ROC, overall capability is really increased with R-series. R-series loaders offer what we call a wider range of power because um, the Bobcat engine really generates more torque across a wider range of RPM than other engines. And so our engines can stay in peak torque range longer, really maximizing performance. This is on top of, you know, really um, key classic, uh, you know, Bobcat capability as far as, you know, we offer powerful breakout forces, strong hydraulics, you know, and maybe arguably the best SJC and joysticks available on the market. Um, so our series loaders offer a range of options and, and performance capabilities for various applications and, and operator preferences. Yeah. Now you mentioned just there, um, the, the, the new engine design, uh, that, that wider torque range, um, what, what specifically in this new engine design, uh, can kind of explain that wider torque range, uh, and, and kind of tell us, uh, you know, the rest about, uh, this new engine design, what makes it so special? Sure. So the redesigned V2 Bobcat engine now has an inline orientation in our R-Series loaders. So this inline engine is paired with a durable direct drive system. And the engines in our 60 and 70 platform R-Series loaders, like what's in our new, newly launched 62s, um, are non-DPF, which means that these engines meet tier four requirements without that diesel particulate fil filter. And this reduces downtime that occurs with DPF regeneration and that long-term, you know, DPF uh, maintenance costs. So it really allows the operators to keep on working. But um, new features with our new V2 engine also include, I mean, automatic valve adjustments. We have a new camshaft design, which is more efficient for fuel burning, um, a new fuel system that includes uh, an electric lift pump a larger fuel filter, and even a new like fuel module, which will recycle the warmest fuel first to keep operators running in cold weather. So a new inline engine design and a really innovative, great new fuel system. Now, uh, kind of continuing uh, the talk about these these R series, these kind of like lineup wide R series updates. You know, probably the most outwardly apparent change with these machines, obviously, is is, is their new look and, and the new design. Before we get into that, I do want to take a quick second and talk to you about our sponsor for this video, Philips 66 Lubricants. Moving piles of earth, extreme hot and cold conditions. You know, obviously, construction and mining are tough environments. They're run by tough machines, and those tough machines need the toughest lubricants available to protect them. Now, there are thousands of mining operations in the U.S., and 60% of them trust just one brand to keep their equipment going, and that is Philips 66 Lubricants. Now, they've put thousands of hours into testing, and when you look at the results, it's pretty clear why so many operations put their trust in Philips 66. Take Gardol ECT. It far outperforms the competition in wear protection and corrosion tests. So, whatever you've got graders end loaders dump trucks Philips 66 will protect it our thanks again to Philips 66 lubricants keeping the world running smoothly uh, what was really kind of like the the biggest kind of uh, factor behind uh, that refresh from a design from a development standpoint and um, you know tell us a little bit about some of the the, the, uh, the durability and strength improvements that are also part of that well the design change with our series you know it's it's really, really redesigned inside and out and maybe some of the most you know visible um, pieces of that design and, and some of the most durable pieces of that design again with our cast steel lift arm sections are really a game changer. They not only increased um, capability, as I mentioned, but um, using that cast steel material, we're able to offer a slimmer profile arm, which offers increased visibility to some key areas out to the bucket corners, looking down to the tracks or, or tires. Um, and so really that, that cast steel lift arm is one of our, our, our most durable uh, design features. Also, I have to mention our R-Series cast steel bobtach attachment mounting system, we call it a bobtach, 
Um, our new attachment mounting system on our series is made of, of all cast and provides a really strong connection uh, with more metal where it's really needed. Um, so it has fewer welds overall and um, also the design really um, has openings that allow dirt and debris to pass through. So using cast steel in both of our lift arms and, and um, also in our, our cast steel bobtatch attachment mounting system are a couple of the most uh, noticeable, biggest examples of strength and durability improvements. So uh, kind of moving on to the uh, the cooling package on these machines, that's such a it's such a big uh, improvement uh, on these new R series machines over the previous generation. Um, but that cooling package is 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 50 percent bigger. Uh, so talk about the design of that package and, and where where it's improved kind of cooling performance is going to play out uh, in real world operation the most. Um, in our series, we offer a larger, like a higher capacity radiator and oil cooler which increase cooling ability in, in, in most operating conditions. Um, you're right, our fan is about 50% larger. And so that paired with our inline engine orientation and our louvered tailgate, that really keeps that air flowing in the engine compartment and, and overall that you know, increases our cooling performance. So what that means is among like the primary purposes of improved cooling, um, we keep up with the demand of the growing number of hydraulic attachments out there, right? So you can operate a lot longer using your attachments without the fear of overheating your hydraulic oil. Yeah, that's a huge consideration, especially with, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, this is definitely toward the smaller end of the range, but as, you know, CTLs are getting larger and more powerful, you know, just kind of apart from size, you know, the increased use of those attachments and just kind of using them for different tasks is, is, is obviously becoming uh, more and more of a thing. So um, of, uh, you know, all of the new R series loaders um, have a, a five link torsion suspension undercarriage present. Um, it's not necessarily a, a new thing. The fact that it is standard across the lineup, though, that that is what's new. But when, you know, Sarah, when was that design kind of initially introduced on the Bobcat lineup? And talk a little bit about the, the, the design behind that system and, and how it improves ride, how it improves comfort and all that good stuff. Well, um, when you operate a Bobcat compact track loader with the, the five link torsion suspension undercarriage, you will totally and immediately notice the difference. Like it really dramatically reduces stress and vibration from the undercarriage. It's a, it's a difference you can feel throughout the entire machine. That said, um, it's only an option on the, of course, the R-Series track loader models. And it was originally introduced, I think about three years ago on our T870. So um, with our R-Series design, we were really pleased to be able to take that patented five-link uh, technology and offer that on all frame sizes of our R-Series track loader models. Now, um, there, there's been several, as you said earlier, you know, these are, these are brand new machines, both inside and out, and there's been several improvements to the cabs on these new machines. Uh, for one, it's a, it's a one-piece seal design, but you guys have also made some visibility improvements. You know, one of the things I mentioned earlier was, you know, visibility to the tool, but there's also some, some improvements to the visibility to, to the sides of, in the cab. Talk about what's new on the cab and what's new about this new design. In our, our series loaders, we have a all new one-piece sealed and pressurized cab which means, first of all, it keeps all that dust and dirt out. It really isolates the operator from the engine and hydraulic noise. It's very, it's quite quiet in there. You know, we say quiet enough to hear yourself think, right? Um, but pair that with what we offer as a option is called a clear side enclosure option. And that clear side enclosure option is a really unique offering in our industry. Um, we were able to remove about uh, three fourths of the mesh on the sides of the cab um, and replaced with a thick polycarbonate material that offers the same, um, you know, degree of defense. Um, but also, you know, it really improves visibility out the side. So it just, and it just feels airier and lighter in there too. So we also pair that clear side enclosure option with an automatic heat air conditioning which will um, automatically adjust to keep constant temperature in your cab. So, you know, I mentioned that because you think about that, that clean cab that re repels all that dust and dirt and, and, you know, automatic heat and air, and you're able to really see um, 
what you're doing. I mean, it just is, it's, it's kind of an automotive style experience in these cabs. It's just a really comfortable, productive work environment to work in. And uh, Sarah, the, the kind of the, the, to kind of round things out on, on this new R series or on the, the S62 and the T62 specifically, kind, kind of tell us a little bit about some of maybe what's going on on the maintenance side of these machines, ease of maintenance, maintenance features. Uh, talk a little bit about that. With that one piece sealed and pressurized cab, we move the cab mounting bolts to the front. So you really just undo those, those cab mounting bolts and you're, e- you're able to just tip that cab up to reach um, key serviceability areas. Um, you know, we've, we've moved the battery, but we've did a, we put a battery jump start back in the engine compartment for, you know, um, ease of use. Um, we've changed our air filter to a round air filter. I mean, just really serviceability. It's all about access. So, um, you know, we have key serviceability points within reach. And so, um, not only with improved performance and, and, um, you know, reduced, um, you know, maintenance and service needed. Um, it's just really great to have key access to those key serviceability points. Well, uh, Sarah, that's that's pretty much all the time we've got uh, for for today on the dirt. But thank you so much for for taking some time out of your day to come in and talk about the new S62 and T62 and and all of these kind of improvements, the design improvements, performance improvements that are brought uh, as part of this new R series. So yeah, thank you so much again. And uh, yeah, I hope the rest of your day is a good one. You too. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Feel free to check out bobcat.com for more information on R series compact loaders or better yet, go visit your dealer and demo one for yourself. Thanks guys. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of The Dirt. Thanks again to Sarah for hopping in and joining us. Let us know what you think of Bobcat's new R-Series skid steers and CTLs, including the new S62 and T62, in the comments below. And if you like this video and found it useful in your next machine purchase or rental, do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos and more coverage on the latest in construction equipment, visit us at our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube and turn on notifications. Hit the bell so you're receiving up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much again for watching. We really appreciate your time and we'll see you next time.